Let us now consider cubic polynomial functions. They have the form f of x equal a x cubed plus b x squared plus c x plus d. Um, we are going to explore the graph of the cubic polynomial functions. So for instance, we have f of x here. Let's plot it on GeoGebra graphing calculator. So you can see the shape. And when we plot g of x, you see the shape. When you plot h of x, you see the shape. i of x, the shape. j of x, the shape. So you notice that in, in general, when the value of a is greater than 0, the shape starts from below the x axis, goes up, comes down, and goes up again. When if the value of a is less than 0, or if it is negative, it starts from up, then it goes like that. So this is positive, so it also starts from below, go like this. This is also a positive, positive one. So it will start like that, go like that. Then if you look at this one, it's negative. So it starts from above, go up, then come down. So that is how the shape in general of the cubic polynomial functions are giving the value of a if a is less than zero and if a is greater than zero now let's consider some example let's graph the polynomial function p of x equal negative 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x plus 1. so in general we need to get the intercept the x intercept and the y intercept so for y intercept y intercept we can put x equals 0. So p of 0 will be equal to negative 2 times 0 cube minus 0 squared plus 2 times 0 plus 1. And that will give us 1. So the y-intercept will be 0, 1. Then for the x-intercept, we need to equate p of x to 0. So that will give us negative 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. So we can factor this easily. Negative x squared out. Then we have 2x plus 1. Then we have plus 1 into 2x plus 1 here. So factor factor to get negative x squared plus 1. And times 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So we have either negative x squared plus 1 equals 0 or 2x plus 1 equals 0 using the zero product property. So we can solve this equation. Negative x squared will be equal to negative 1 or 2x will be equal to negative 1. So Dividing through by negative 1 here, we get x squared equal 1. And divided through by 2 here, we get x equal negative 1 over 2. So we take the square roots. So x will be plus or minus square root of 1. So that will be x will be equal to plus or minus 1. So either x equal negative 1, x equal 1, or x equal negative half. So these are the x intercept in other ways we have negative 1 comma 0 we have negative half comma 0 then we have 1 comma 0 now the next thing we are going to do is to choose some additional points that will help us graph this polynomial function so after choosing the points carefully this is what we have and we can now plot the graph of p of x notice that this is negative 1.5 and 2.5 here then we have negative 1 0 here we have 0 point negative 0 0.5 0 here we have 0 1 here and we have 0 0.5 1.5 here then we have 1 comma 0 here and we have 1.5 comma negative 5 here. 
good so we have our x axis here and we have our y axis over here so that is how you draw the graph of cubic polynomial functions now let's take another example this time you're going to sketch the graph of f of x equal s cube minus x so how do we do that so we try to find the y intercept so y intercept y intercept x equals 0 so f of 0 will be equal to 0 cube minus 0 and that will give us 0 so the y intercept is 0 0 then x intercept x intercept y equals 0 so f of x equals 0 so this means that x cube minus x equals 0 so x out x minus 1 x square minus 1 equals 0 so this will give us x equals 0 or x squared minus 1 equals 0 so as you saw earlier this will give us x equals 0 or x equal 1 or x equal negative 1 so we have we see the x intercepts they are going to be 0 comma 0 then 1 negative 1 comma 0 and we have 1 comma 0 then we see the y intercept also to be 0 0 and now we see that the a is greater than 0 so it will start from below and go up and come down so we have our x as is here we have our y as is so we have our intercepts we have negative one here we have zero zero here and we have one here so the y intercept is also at zero zero here so the graph will go like this go up come and pass here come down come and pass here and go up so that will be p of f of x equal s cube minus x for you so we have a question here for you to try you have to sketch the graph of f of x equal negative 2x cubed plus 8x so you can check the solution in the video entitled polynomial functions solution to trial questions in this playlist thank you please don't forget to share this video and don't forget to like it and don't also forget please to subscribe to this channel see you in the next video algebra of polynomials